Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove unsubscribers from your AWeber list. That's these people right here. Now the reason you want to do that is because the way AWeber does its billings, they don't bill you based on how many people actually subscribe to your list. They bill you based on your subscribe and your unsubscribe. They, so they bill you based on the grand total. Now this is important if you check out the pricing model, you see AWeber 0 to 500 is $19. And if you get 501, they charge you $10 more. What could happen is say you have 450 people subscribe to, you, to your list and 100 people unsubscribe to your list. You think you're only paying $19 because you're under 500. But in actuality, to AWeber, you have 550 subscribers and you'll be billed $29 a month. And you'll be continuing to build 29 bucks a month unless you get rid of those unsubscribe people. Here's how you do it. What you gotta do is you gotta go to the leads tab, hit search. From there, you'll be given a list of options. You want to look for all the unsubscribed leads and they'll load up. Okay, there you go. So these are all the people who unsubscribe to my list recently, what you do is you just click this erase button here and hit save and they'll be erased. You notice that it only shows results 1 to 20 but I have 28 so it'll go to the next page as well. Yeah, so delete the rest. If you have a lot of people that unsubscribe from your list because it only displays like 20 at a time, it could take you a while to delete them. <laughs> Another thing you might want to try is to delete the undeliverable leads because you know if you can't deliver the email to them, why have them on the list? And in my case, I'm lucky I don't have a single undeliverable. All right, so now that the unsubscribe has been, has been deleted, check back on the home page. All right, now we're back and you see that it's still at 28. The reason for that is because AWeber does not update in real time. If I check back in half an hour, this should say zero and my grand total should be the same as my subscribe total. And hopefully that saved me a bit of money because it won't push me into the next pricing tier. Hope this helped. Until next time.